morning, good morning, good morning, love. This morning topic, all children matter. For me, kids are always done, how do you say? Kids go through a lot. There we go. Let's start it off like that. Children suffer from abuse, neglect, sexual abuse, rape, domestic violence, mental issues. Children go through the most. Why? Because of our environment because of our own homes, because of our own families, because of our own ways. Children will go through stuff because of us. It's a generational thing. It's not something that just started happening. It's been happening. Our children are always being hurt abused, neglected, mistreated, raped, kidnapped, sold. Think about this. Even in your own home lies a predator. Our children are even going through stuff when it comes to our law enforcement. And I'm not going to say all in law enforcement, but because of everything that has happened in our world, the children have seen so much violence, they're afraid. When my children see the police, I have to literally explain to them not all police are going to treat us like that but then you know what there are police who profile vehicles and people and children over the most craziest thoughts and granted even though you don't see any danger or any threat coming from these children, they still will draw their guns on them. Our society is all messed up when it comes to our children. Because a lot of people don't even take their life really into consideration. A lot of people don't think about how sensitive it is. A lot of people don't even care how they're supposed to protect these children. But I'm honestly tell you, I'm going to go to bat in hell for mine. And that's what real parents do. If a lot of y'all parents get y'all mind out of this fairy tale land or this consumed relationship land or this workaholic land, Maybe y'all could see what's going on with your children to know if they're being abused, mistreated, bullied, raped, or anything like that. A lot of people have blinders on and they're not paying attention to the small signs of what our children are saying. Some of these children are literally crying and screaming out for help. And a lot of you parents or people are ignoring that. Good morning, sis. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Mwah, mwah, mwah. A lot of our children are yelling and screaming and crying out for love, affection, and attention. And a lot of us are too caught up in a world to where we are losing our children to the games to the streets, to the drugs, to the violence, to men. Come on now. 
our daughters are learning from prime example on how to be a first front hoe. Oh, come on now. Sorry to keep it so raw this morning, but when I think about how precious it is for our children and their mind frame and how they're being raised, a lot of it needs to change right in the house. A lot of the dysfunction needs to change from in them bloodlines. Let's go ahead and take it back to when our parents were children. Our parents went through some things that they didn't speak about. Our parents went through some things that messed up their mental mind frame that made them overprotective or over secure. I thank my mama for being overprotective. I thank my mama for calling and 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 reaching out to me because of a feeling because she knew something was wrong. I thank mama. That's called a parent intuition. It's called a parent's instinct. A lot of people ignore them instincts, but then you blame God when you don't make it there, when he told you to get there, when he told you to pick up that phone, when he told you to get your butt home, he told you to save your child. He tried to save your child, you ignored it. A lot of us ignore things when the signs be right there in front of us. Then you wonder why your babies are turning into grown-ups quicker than the eye can see. You wonder why your daughter dressing all fine and got every Tom, Dick, and Harry looking at her trying to take her innocence. She learned it from the best. She learned it from the rest. She learned it right there at home. How to be that a lot of us don't even realize we set our children up to be exactly what we don't want them to be. Look in the mirror and realize what you used to be. And as much as a lot of us will say, oh, I, not my child, not my child, it be Yo, child. But I'm going to tell you, honey, a lot of our children are getting away with it better than us. Mm -hmm. We didn't have these high-tech cell phones and stuff that day, you know, in the day. We didn't have uh, uh, all this technology and stuff. Our kids are being destroyed by the internet alone. When's the last time somebody played a board game with their children? When's the last time y'all took y'all children camping or fishing? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. A lot of y'all don't do the camping or fishing because y'all from the city or y'all from the streets. Good morning, y'all. A lot of y'all don't even pay attention about doing mother-daughter events with your daughters or father-son trips with your sons. Me and my sister were just speaking on the other day. Where are the men that, that rise up and actually do things with these boys? Oh no, y'all teach them how to be young gangbangers or drug dealers or rapists and murderers. That's where a lot of people are putting their kids at, right? Then you want to blame God for some of your negligence or your raisings or your teachings. When's the last time y'all taught y'all kid how to cook? I got my kids learning how to cook. I got my kids up in church. I got my kids doing family functions. And in idle times, I let my son play a video game. But that ain't where his mind is gonna stay 24 seven, trust and believe that. 
breaking that cycle starts now. Changing the way starts now. And some of y'all are grandparents, along with young children. And y'all not setting no better example for your grandchildren. It's evil. I, it was a shame when I seen this little boy, and he had to been like four, maybe five years old, come out the house with his pants sagging, talking about what's up, cuz. <laughs> what's up, cuz? Can I whoop you? That's what's happening. Children are mimicking their parents and what they see. So if daddy's out here with his pants all down talking about what's up, cuz, the child out here talking about what's up, cuz. Exactly. When I used to work in LA, I used to work in, uh, uh, for the American Drug Public Program. I was a counselor for kids. I used to hang around and gain intervention. Ooh, hey, man. Are you doing that now? No, I'm not doing that. Well, why not? Well, I'm going to tell you this. On Mondays, down here on Flamingo and Eastern, I'll even give you the address. We host classes and we talk about what we want to do for the community. There are children out here dying because men like you are not speaking up and helping these kids from staying away from that. Come on now. Every time you're not doing your purpose, we're losing them, right? So, if you got a pen, I'll give you the address. And on Mondays at 6.30, 6, 6.30, we show up there. And, and, and we make our businesses and everything come alive. A bunch of children come there. Like, we just had a guy um, come and host AA meetings there. I mean, when I say things are changing, if you don't get involved now, you're going to see more of the population just die off. And of course, the government doesn't have a problem with that. Hey, beautiful. Man, these kids, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, start talking, even if they're not your children, be a positive influence to them, be that auntie, be that uncle, be that person that's going to save that child or the next person's child from ending up dead in jail or anything like that. Don't be afraid neither because half of the time, I'm gonna tell you, the parents are not saying nothing. And if they're not saying nothing, look at how many lives are being lost. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Patty. Good morning. Hi. How you doing? I'm uh, like always. <laughs> <laughs> Living the 7-Eleven dream. Anything else for you today? No. I got everything. No. Thank you. See y'all later. Bye, beautiful. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 
Like, where I live at, y'all, I swear to you, it's a prime central location for prostitution. And that's terrible because some of it is our daughters. Well, not, not my daughters, but some of it is people's children out here hoeing and, 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 and losing themselves out here in this world. And a lot of y'all will turn the other cheek. Robert. All right. God bless you. I'm telling you, we need brothers like you. These children need their protections in the world, whether you're blood or not, whether they're your children or not. If we don't start stepping up, we're going to keep losing our children to the statistic, which is dead in jail or these streets. And eventually the streets lead to jail or death, drugs and all. So, everybody, we got to change the way. So, I look forward to seeing you. I used to always tell the kids, and they always make excuses. I always tell them, excuses are tools of accomplishments, build on monuments of nothingness. And for those who use them, are seldom capable of anything else. Because you walk out this door and, 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 and go out here with your buddies, because you see them doing something, so, or oh, I was just there, or oh, I just done, I was just with them, or something, but you was with them. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't do anything, but you were still with it. You knew what they were up to. Right. So you just make excuses for, for, for the shit you done. Other than that, you, just, you know, you, you would have done, done it with them. Mm -hmm. You got caught. Well, I hope to see you at one of these meetings. Okay, for sure. All right. All right. Stay blessed. I'm serious. We are looking for mentors. We are looking for people who want to be more involved with our children, with our community. There's so much that needs to be changed. There's so much that needs to be done. And, and a lot of people are sleeping on it. Ah. It sucks that it's ignored so much when it comes to our children. But it's people like us that have the voices for them. Now, before I let y'all loves go today, we are going to arm up with the Lord, cover ourselves daily, cover our children, our family. Father God, I thank you so much for waking us up this morning. Every morning that you give us life, every morning, every morning, every morning. I thank you for our families. I thank you for our children. I thank you for keeping them safe. I thank you for rising them up. For the ones that are not safe, I ask that you just touch out on them right now. Disperse your angels all over the world to protect on our children. Protect them from abuse. Protect them from neglect. Protect them from rape. Protect them from violence. Protect them from drugs. Protect them from all acts of the enemy. He has no power or authority over our children or none of our lives. And we claim it, we own it, and we receive it in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you touch on all of our parents, all of our families, 
all of us. Give us the strength. Give us the voice. Give us the praise and the prayer to speak out loud. To protect our nation. To protect our children. United under you. Under United. Father God, I just thank you so much for all things that you have done. Father God, I thank you for your protection. I thank you for your healing. I thank you for your restoration. I thank you for your reviving. I thank you for redeeming. I thank you for everything that you have done from the good, the bad, to the ugly. I just thank you, Lord. I rebuke everything negative, everything violent. I rebuke drugs, alcohol. I rebuke it all in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke all the sicknesses from cancer to dementia to COVID-19. I rebuke it out of our world, out of our lives, and out of this in the name of Jesus. Father God, I love you and I thank you. Salah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. I love y'all. I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Definitely hit the replay on this because this live has come to the end. It is about our children and I really meant everything that I said. It's time to wake up and open up your eyes and start paying attention to these babies because they are our now generation. If you don't want your child turning into that gangbanger, that prostitute, or, you know, just the normal statistic, then rise up, step up, and do your job as a parent, as a person, as a woman, as a father, as a man, whatever title you want to give. It's time to rise up and start raising these babies the right way. You hear me? I love y'all. And if ain't nobody told y'all they love you today, Alicia has told y'all she loves you.